Congratulations on your latest acquisition. If you've been planning a trip to the moon, Mars, or beyond, you've done well to select this rocket instead as a more practical alternative. We're glad you're taking a moment to view these instructions, so to maximize your enjoyment of what amounts to the most advanced water rocket in the world. Let's join our host, one of the plain ordinary scientists at Antigravity, as he carefully clears a workspace for our demonstration. Though humble in appearance, from this package will emerge a rocket that defies boundaries of time and space. Carefully open it and examine the contents. Three common household items will be required of you. Two plastic pop bottles and a bicycle pump. Don't get one that's too small, or you'll be pumping for a long, long time. Instead, get a real bicycle pump, the type that real rocket scientists use, with the pressure meter built right in. Now we're talking. Let's start our assembly with the booster stage. Be careful while unfolding the fins just as you normally would if you were handling potato chips. Push the fins onto the bottle until they snap into place. There now, isn't that starting to look like a rocket already? Enough unfolding and clicking, now for some peeling and sticking. With a half inch overlap, the three fins should make a circle that fits gently over the top of the booster stage. Be careful, that tape is really sticky. Attaching the circular fin to the upper stage bottle should be no problem at all as long as you've been making a regular practice of sharpening your fingernails to a razor point. Otherwise, this is the toughest part. As a child, did you ever get bubblegum stuck in your hair? That's nothing compared to getting your supporting struts stuck on in the wrong place. Do your best to put the circular fin on straight. Once again, keep in mind that the tape is terribly sticky. Take time to admire your work along the way, as you're turning out to be quite a rocket scientist. Peel and stick the orange bumper pad, or the cranial impact reducer, onto the top of the upper stage. Then install the upper stage nozzle tightly. There are always rewards to sticking to a project. Isn't it exciting to put the two halves together and see how big your completed rocket is? Setting it aside, Let's assemble the portable water supply. You can use just water, but adding about one part dish soap to four parts water gives the rocket a better boost. We'll call this rocket fuel. Inject a little rocket fuel into both stages, about half an inch deep. Careful now, that thing's loaded. Don't shake it around too much. What about the items we haven't used yet? We'll get there. Don't worry, be happy. Perhaps it's more than just coincidence that one end of the hose fits perfectly into a bicycle pump. Amazingly, the other end fits into the rocket. Plunge the antenna six inches into the ground through the bright orange marker so that you don't trip over it. At last, we discover what the radio antenna is really for. For now, the aliens will have to wait. Speaking of aliens, Never use an automatic pump, or you might not give the rocket your full attention. But don't strain yourself either. Just relax and take it easy. It's not like the rocket's going anywhere. At least not until you give it about 80 good pumps. If the rocket hasn't left already, just flip the lever to send it on its way.
think you'll agree. Nothing stays up as long as an anti-gravity rocket.